Hey guys, and welcome to your second advanced C++ and graphics tutorial. Today we are going to be opening a window, and we're also going to be uh, creating the skeleton of our program. Uh, during this tutorial series, we're going to be making a lot of different games. So what we're going to do is write our uh, little uh, game engine in a way that we can reuse it for all of the different little games we want to make. So we're going to write a lot of really reusable code. We're going to try to use good programming practices. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm starting with a completely blank slate here in int main, and I'm not going to include anything right now. I'm just going to type int main, and in here we're going to put int argc char double star argv. And I haven't done a tutorial specifically on what these parameters mean yet. Uh, this is for command line arguments. Uh, just know that SDL needs you to put that in there, otherwise it's not going to be able to call your main function. So here is our int main. Now what we actually want to do is we want our main.cpp file to be really small. This is going to be the entry point of our program and it's going to start our game. So what we should do is make a game class. So let's come over here on the right and let's make a class. So we'll click add and then we'll go to class. And I'm going to call it main game. So let's go ahead and type main game here. And that will make us a header file and a cpp file. We're going to finish. And it should open those up. Here we go. We have maingame.h and maingame.cpp. So we have a destructor and a constructor that are already created for us. So this is what's going to be essentially our game. So what we should do is we should write a few functions here. We want to be able to run our game. We want to be able to start the game. So let's make a function void run. And this will run the game just like that. And what else do we need? We also need a function to initialize the game. This is what's going to set up our window. So we're going to say void init systems. And this stands for initialize systems. So this will initialize whatever systems we need. It'll initialize SDL, OpenGL, anything we need to get set up so that we can play our game or run our game. So I'm going to copy these two things into maingame.cpp. And then I'm going to make sure that they are belonging to main game by pasting that. And we're going to give them a body, just like that. Now, for now, all that run is going to do is it's going to initialize the system. So we're just going to call init systems. So it's just going to call our systems initialize code, and then it's not going to do anything. And that's fine. So this, this init systems is going to actually open the window and get SDL and OpenGL all set up. Now, in main.cpp, let's go ahead and include maingame.h. like that. And let's go ahead and make an instance of the main game class. So we could say main game, main game. And then we can say main game dot run, just like that. And this is our int main. This is all it's going to do for now. Uh, so let's go back to main game and let's go ahead and get init system set up. So first in the header file, let's go ahead and include uh, our SDL. So we're going to include SDL slash SDL dot H. So this is going to include SDL for us, and I may not have showed you what this means. This pragma once it just it's 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 something that protects you from uh, circular includes. Just make sure you have that at the top. All right, so we're including SDL.h, and one thing we're going to need is a window. We need to have an instance of an SDL window. So let's make a private variable. So we'll say private down here, and let's make a private variable that is a SDL window. And this is what's going to basically hold a pointer to our window. And then we can do things with it like resize the window, set the screen width and screen height, you know, open it. It's, it's what's called a handle to our window. So we're going to type SDL and then underscore window. And we're going to make it a pointer because that's what uh, the SDL create window function returns. And we're going to make it called uh, window, just like that, underscore window since it's a private variable. All right, so we're setting this up. What we need to do now is initialize it in the constructor. It's a good idea to always initialize your uh, private uh, member variables uh, so that if you were to, for instance, call a function on SDL window uh, that expects it to be created and you forgot to create it, if you initialize it to the null pointer, you'll get a null access violation. So it'll be really easy to see your bug. So we're gonna go to main game, and in here we're going to initialize that to the null pointer. So that will protect us. All right, so now we have our window object. What we need to do is open our window. But first, before we can actually even open the window, we have to initialize SDL. 
And what that does is it basically just sets up everything SDL needs to run. So all we got to do is type SDL init like that. And then in parentheses, we give it a specific flag that tells it how it's going to initialize. And what we're going to say is SDL init everything. And that'll just initialize everything SDL has to offer. Even if we don't need it all, that's what we're going to do for now. So that will initialize everything. So let's go ahead and put a comment here. Initialize SDL. And then let's open our window. So there's this function called SDL create window like that. And this creates the window. And it takes care of all of the operating system specific stuff. So you can call these functions on Windows or, or Mac and it will take care of all of the specifics. So what it does is it returns a pointer to a window. And if it successfully creates the window, then the pointer will be valid. If it fails to create the window, it's going to return us a null pointer. And as I mouse over this, you'll see this, this box pops up. Hopefully you're getting the same thing. And you'll be able to see the parameters. You'll be able to see what all the parameters do. And then you'll be able to see its return value. It gives you the full uh, declaration of that function. So we're going to set our window equal to this function call. And if we look here, the first argument it asks for is, if I can, let me zoom in here. The first argument it asks for, oh, that's right, I can't zoom in anymore for some reason. I'll have to figure that out. I keep forgetting to fix that. The first argument is the title, the window title. So we're going to title our window um, graphics engine or something like that. Comma, we'll call it game engine. That's cooler. Game engine. And then comma, now X and Y are uh, the positions of the windows. Now, if we don't want to give it a, pos a specific position, we can tell it that we want it to just try to center the window. And we can use that with this constant that is SDL window pause centered. And that's going to tell it that we want it to center, center the window. And we'll do that for both X and Y. So both X and Y are centered. And then we put a comma because there's another parameter. And this is the width. Now our screen width and our screen height are going to affect the size of the window. So what we should do is definitely store those as variables. So let's make two new variables in our main game.h, two new private variables. Let's make an int screen width and int screen height. So we can set these variables. Let's go ahead and set them up in the constructor. We're going to say screen width equals 1024 and screen height equals 768. Now right now I'm hard coding these to just random uh, screen resolutions. In the future we're going to figure out how to detect what screen resolutions uh, you can actually use and we'll probably even uh, add an options menu so you can pick different screen resolutions. But for now we're just going to hard code one because it's the easy way to do it. So it takes screen width and screen height so we're going to put those in which should be 1024 by 768. So screen width screen height. Feel free to change these numbers to whatever you want. You can even change it to the resolution of your monitor to get full screen. And then we have a uint32 flags. Now I'm going to teach you more about flags later on and what they mean. I'll probably do it in the next tutorial. But basically what we do here is we can put some things that uh, tell it uh, what it should, what the way it should open the window. We can tell it if we want it to be full screen, if we want it to be resizable, minimized, maximized, borderless, all of that. Right now, all we're going to do is set SDL window OpenGL, just like that. So what that's telling it is this is a OpenGL window because we're going to be drawing on it with OpenGL. And that should be all we have to do. So that's going to create the window and then it's going to go ahead and open it up for us. So what we want to do now is go back to main and let's go ahead and make sure that the program doesn't end. So let's do something like, um, let's include IOStream up here, include IOStream, and then let's do SDD, see out, enter any key to quit. Something like that. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We don't need a new line. And then we'll do STD, or we'll do int A, STD CNA. So this is just a little uh, piece of code that will kind of pause the program. And that's it. So let's go ahead and run it and see if the window opens. And we got build errors. Because SDL main must return a value. That's right. We have to return zero here. And one thing I forgot to do is in main game.h, we should probably include OpenGL. Uh, right now, we're not doing anything with OpenGL. So, you know, it's fine. But... We should go ahead and include it for now, just so we don't forget. So we're going to include uh, GL 
slash, and I'm using glue because I'm on Windows. If you're not on Windows, you're probably going to include gl.h or something like that. So we're going to include glue.h. All right, so let's run it. And there we go, we get our window. And as you can see at the top here, it says Game Engine. So that's my window title. And it, it has the dimensions of 1024 by 768. And since we have our subsystem set as console, it opens up this little console here. So we can use this for debugging. We can have this print stuff out for us. Uh, we can enter things in here uh, when we're testing our games. When we finally you know, ship our game, we're probably not going to have this console enabled. But for now, this is just really helpful for us when we make our games. So thanks for joining me for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to uh, flesh out our game a little bit more. It's going to be a few episodes till we get any real drawing because uh, with the new modern OpenGL stuff, it's a little harder to first get started. Uh, but once we finally start getting some stuff drawn, we're going to have a lot of power and we're going to be able to do a lot of really cool things. And we're going to be writing this game in a reusable manner so that we can use it for all sorts of different games. And you can come back here and use this code for your own games later on. Thanks for watching, guys.